Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to dub your World War II U.S. Army buckle boots specifically. So this is basically the process of dubbing, waterproofing basically for any sort of GI combat boot uh, that's out there including, you know, even like the Cochran's, Cochran's, whatever, stuff like that with the smooth leather. Um, highly recommend doing this to all of your boots. Very important. Uh, especially if you're gonna be out in the field a lot. So, a few things that you're gonna need right off the bat, you're gonna need your dubbing. My favorite is personally Snow Seal. Uh, it just is, it's nice and supple, it gets it really uh, in there, really good. Highly recommend this stuff. Um, another thing you're gonna want, you're gonna want a bowl, tin, something of water. Um, you can use that, you can even use the lid to an old shoe shine jar. Um, need that. I also recommend a brush in case you have any dirt on your boot to just wipe that off right away. You're going to need some sort of a rag that you can get wet and caked in oil. And I mean caked. So make sure it's a rag that you can ruin. Uh, and the last thing you need is a hair dryer or a heat gun. Um, because what you need to do is once you get your dubbing on, you're going to need to basically melt it into the pores of the leather. So to start that off, um, I highly recommend getting your boots slightly moist. What this is going to do is this is going to open up the pores of the leather. Uh, do a very thin coat of water, do not do a lot. If you do a little too much, it, the, uh, the wax won't actually soak into the boot. But just a little bit on the surface will help just kinda get those pores a little open. I'm using warm water, it seems to work a little bit better. So you can just do that kinda to your boot really quickly. Um, these boots today that we're using are actually the Hessen Antique Repros, which as you can see I'm wearing my dubbed versions. I've had these now for several months, and uh, they've been dubbed, and they work really nice. So, uh, that is the boot that we are using today. So there we go. So now we just kind of got a nice little layer of water on here. Um, very important spots on the boot that you're going to really want to dub. One is the front toe cap. Um, you're going to see a lot of water coming in through here. Another very important piece is these parts right here inside. Right here, water can get in really easily. Get that caked in wax. Any seam anywhere like this, you're gonna wanna get that uh, covered. And then very importantly, these areas right here, you're gonna really wanna cake and wax um, because that's gonna seal it really nicely and these are also areas that can let water in. So, now that we've got our water on, uh, you're gonna start preheating the leather. Okay, so now that we've preheated our letter a little bit, uh, using the hairdryer, it's going to take a minute. Mr. Camera Guy, what do you think? Is that pretty warm? That's yeah, pretty warm. All right, perfect. So that's what we're going to want. So now we can start the dubbing process. So now we got to speed this up because obviously uh, we don't want it to go cold on us. You're going to take your rag. You're going to wrap it around. I recommend two fingers. Just get nice and tight because you need to be able to get into all the little surfaces here. You're going to break out your dubbing like so and you're gonna take a glob to start off probably about yay much not a lot you know just a good finger full then you're gonna grab your boot I always recommend starting with the toe cap it's a very important part of the boot it's gonna let a, wa a lot of water in if you don't do this part so I always like to start with the top uh, when it comes to the surface of the leather circular movements are the best it is going to do the best for you it's gonna really get that wax in there and then notice how I'm starting to pack that grease right in that seam area. That's what you're going to want. And you're going to want to do that kind of around the whole entirety of the sole uh, where it meets the leather. Because that is going to be the part where, if anything, water is going to get in. So, just really pack that in there. Just like such. See how I'm starting to get that line in there. And then once again, just circles. I always like to put a good layer of wax first layer on. But you want to keep it thin, mind you. So... But especially around the toe cap, you know, you can go a little bit thicker. Um, but make sure it's still thin, if that makes any sense. So, just keep rubbing it there. So now we got that good line right there inside the seam. That's what we're going to want. And then we're just going to keep doing circular movements around the toe cap. So, as you see, just another glob. Get it all around there. And like I said, make sure it's a thin first layer because that first layer you're gonna you're gonna want it to soak into the leather easily, so that you can do the rest later. And then those thicker coats for later on will be a lot better. And there we go. So there is our dubbed first side of our boot. So now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna take the hair dryer. And what we're wanting on to do is make sure that this wax, do not let it fully melt off because then it'll actually evaporate. 
what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get it warmed up just so it's got a nice little liquidy coat to it and then you're going to want to leave it because that's done and then it's starting to soak in all the seams and pores. So I'm going to do that quick and I'm going to show you guys the end result here in a second. Okay, so as you can see, I just hit it with the hair dryer. It's nice and uh, warm already. This did not take long, and notice how you're starting to get that shimmer on the wax. You're going to start seeing that too in this first layer. Not so much on the actual main parts of the leather, but in that seam really, that's kind of going to be a good indicator of when to stop. Um, little note though, on the rubber sole itself, you're going to see that wax heating up a lot quicker. That's okay, but make sure you really get this solid right here and right in there. Um, and then basically just do that across the whole first coat here that you've already dubbed and then you're good to start the next part of your boot so I am uh, gonna start right here on the seam and do this next Okay guys, so now that you can see I've done this panel uh, now, I have all this packed in. I have not heated it up yet, but you can notice where all that grease is packed in. You're going to want to, like I said, all along those seams. And notice the difference between the two. Um, this will make your boots darker. I'm going to let you know that right away. So if you're one of those guys that really wants a light boot, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't dub your boots then. Um, this though will give it that nice dark really GI look so like I said this is an undone panel this is a done panel so now we're gonna heat this up move to the next part the heel So if you notice here after hitting it with the uh, the air dryer, you can start and see these pores. You can actually almost kind of see them open up compared to up front here where it's still really smooth and solid. You can see that opening up. Okay, so now in the last part of your first coat, you're going to really want to make sure you get inside the tongue here. Uh, this is another area that's really going to let a, a lot of water in if you don't do this. Really cake it in here. Um, and get the whole surface. I even recommend this outside shiny leather right here and this lip right here uh, as well as the buckles and Especially the seams of the two parts of leather here really make sure you coat that as well uh, So you're gonna want to do that. That's the last step for your first coat and if you can see even that toe cap here already is already pretty dang water repellent so that's what you're gonna want uh, also make sure when you're done done doing this make sure you give it about uh, 24 hours to cure I would say and I highly recommend doing anywhere between four to five coatings your first coating will start looking like this and that's kind of when you know you're done with that first coating you can just do a really thin coating and uh, really hit these buckle surfaces right here uh, as well as the tops here with those two layers of leather and especially on these parts uh, once you've done your first coating I would give it anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes to sit and then I would start doing your second coating uh, I recommend anywhere from I'd say four to five coatings at most seems to work really good uh, and if you can notice here too we're already starting to get nice and water repellent you look at that right there on the toe cap it's coming right off so that's exactly what you want and like I said about oh, four to five coatings and then once you're done with that give it about 24 hours to cure and you should be good and that ladies and gentlemen is how you dub your GI combat boots whether it be the smooth leather the rough outs you name it this is what you want to do. Highly recommend it, guys. Thanks for watching.